Could I play Urgot? Um, if I see enough champions, I'll play Urgot, yeah. I could do an Urgot game here. Urgot, though. Mm, the guy... Please, flush. Please. Thank you. That's a good call, that's a good call. Get, get to kill this guy on this wave, it's huge for the game. I think I might have to run into the turret, honestly. I would run into the turret if I were him. Yep, but I'll pull the wave here. At least it's there to collapse on him, so making sure I freeze this wave and then base right now is the optimal play for me. I need to trim the wave a little bit at least. Because he has TP and I don't, right? I invest the TP, this is what you have to understand, which is why I'm doing this. It looks a bit strange, but because they're, he's, they're, like, they're taking so much time to kill him, this gives me an opportunity to base here. Yes, I will miss the cannon. No, I won't. Sorry, I couldn't resist. As you can see, he's going to TP back here. If I don't take this base, I'm going to have a really hard time. Of course, he can get to push two waves, but I invested my teleport for the map, and he saved it for laning phase, so this is the the way you have to do it. Too much info? Oh, sorry. If you guys feel like I'm talking too much, I'm happy to slow down and just play the game. Honestly, should I try Swiftness Boots? I think it's a Swiftness Boot game. I don't think it's bad this game. I'll try it. I don't think I never do this, but it helps with his W, I imagine, and I don't think it's too bad here because I can just waddle back the lane with my Swiftness Boots. Whee. There's no oranges, so here I can really threaten an all-in, I feel like. Ah, messed up, but still, I'm in a good spot. I was trying to wait until my cooldowns came back up. Maybe I could have waited a little bit longer for my cooldowns to come back up and then ch kill him with the chains. He ate oranges and it was K. As you can see, the swiftness boost really gives me uh, an opportunity to dog down Gangplank. Ah, I, I missed. I missed. Such. If I hit my ult, it would have been good. He's running out of mana. 275, his Q costs roughly, at this point, it's 40 mana, I believe, per Q. Uh, he did level up, so he's a bit a chunk of mana extra, but every time he uses Q, it's really good for me, because he's going oom. Um. At this point, I'm just going to cancel him here. Okay. Again, like, if I lane lock him like this when he's low on mana, I'm in a really good spot. And he's donating me 20 gold. But right now, I'm just trying to extend the laning phase as long as possible whilst he hasn't based, because that's going to be the easiest for me to lane. And my champion kind of needs level 13, so being able to farm like this is great for me. I'm going to try and get a plate here as I'm crashing the wave. It was a bit cocky for me to walk up there, but, you know, you gotta play with your opponent sometimes. Holy moly, is he trying balanced? At least with smurfing, I guess, I don't know, he just walked up and one tapped the guy. If he gets the ulti off, it's a good fight. No, I'm trolling so hard. That guy's dead. Please, the Kratos. Hold on. Hold on, spell. Hold on, spell. We'll have spell. And I'm out. I played that. I, I got carried there. I got carried to three kills. Oof, my ulti, my Urgot ults. Definitely need some work, huh? Sterax gauge, it is, right? I think uh, Star X Gage, hard to argue against as an item. Thank you, look like an idiot. I hit him. Holy shit, that's Stride Breaker. Poggers. Oh, Mr. Geppetto. Flying crab from the sky attack. He didn't expect that. When you're playing this bad boy, make sure that you don't take too many fights before level 13 unless they're very favorable. 13's when you really get going on Urgot. That's where you want to be at. So right now, I kind of want to just base. I'm just showing up here because there is some... I believe we refer to it as int. Yeah, no thanks. Not the Predator Gragas. Not the Predator Gragas. What's the counterplay? And I probably shouldn't have gone there just to donate 1k gold. Should have just let my teammates die. <clears throat> the reason if you're asking why did I buy MR instead of working towards uh, Cleaver, for example, um, is because right now the enemy team stacking magic penetration on their... or not stacking, but they're building magic penetration, and when the enemy team builds magic penetration, you're gonna want some magic resistance. But why is level 13 important? Because Urgot's passive legs. Echoing Flames is his passive. Uh, his legs basically go short cooldowns. So as you'll, you'll notice here, I'm gonna pop my leg, 
And two and a half seconds later, I can pop my leg again. So obviously when you're going around in circles, you basically have 100% uptime on your passive legs and you deal a disturbing amount of damage. I'll leave flash to make sure we get this kill here. Well, that's not a good ult fight here, no? Can we fight here with me? Stride breaker. Just try to get this Nami. Don't think we will. Get a flash though. Holy shit, guys, is broken. I'm gonna get the crab here. Some crab on crab action. I'll pin her. Maybe we can kill. Oh, I didn't grab her. I could have feared. Nice. We, we wiped them. Don't I win? I think I win. Oh, I couldn't get around her. Crazy. Crazy, crazy damage. No, I missed Nae. I missed Nae. It was a bad play by me. Yeah, Kaisa is a really disgusting champ, honestly. So strong. Crazy. Nice bait. Oh, that's an unfortunate combo, but we should really not be fighting here. Hello, everybody. It's me. Fear beyond death. What a great ability, honestly. Like, what a satisfying ability. Fear beyond death. Absolutely amazing. Like, they hit that ability right. Like, they, they got that ability right. Make sure I cancel this body slam there and grab a freebie. And then walk away. And what am I missing here? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no. Oh, oh yes. Oh no. He doesn't have mana, the, the Alistar. I was wondering, I was like, oh, and then I was like, oh, he's not comboing. And then I realized, oh, he had no mana from earlier. The moment. Up here. Into E. Into stone plate bay. Nice. Stridebreaker was insane, actually. I should play him more with Stridebreaker. I like Stridebreaker. Spell trade, very, very strong at the game.